of the women's 400 metres T30. Features a, a plethora of major champions. It's Amaterva winning the 200 this week. Former world champion Glibova is in this field also. Zevda Kilinic, eighth in the 200 metres in her first major championship. Lane eight for Sweden. Out of athletics for a long time, a return to finish. Seven in the 200 here for Sweden, Natalie Nielsen. Real coming together of diverse talents in this. In lane seven, the 200 metres world champion from this week for Ukraine, Lelia Adzamatova. Lane six for Japan and her first major championship. Fifth in the 200 metres final, Mana Sasaki. In lane five for Portugal, the reigning European 100 metres champion, Carolina Duarte. In lane four for the United States, bronze to the 200 metres here, and I've been silver in the 200 in Doha, Kim Crosby. In lane three for Ukraine, the former world 100 and 400 metres champion in Lyon in 2013, Elena Glebova. And in lane two for Morocco, the new 1500 metres world champion, Sana Benema. Least visual impairment, but it's still a lot of visual impairment. Amara Duran, the championship record holder, though she's now a T12. You tell me somewhere else where the 200 meter and 1500 meter world champion in a running race will come head to head. This is going to be intriguing, interesting, and a lot of fun. Benaman two, Glebova three, Crosby four, Duarte five, Sasaki six, Zamatsova seven, Nielsen eight, Kilinich nine. The 1500 meters champion Benema in lane two, and Zamatsova the 200 meters champion in seven, the final of the women's. 400 meters. Okay. Well, away they go. Good start by Panama. She's been a past master of the sprints. Won the 100, 200, and 400 in Beijing back in 08. But look at it, Zamatsova, the new 200 meters world champion, go out of lane seven. She's the Paralympic 100 meters champion. She's in good control at the moment. Panama, does she still have some of her good old fashioned sprint speed? Duarte going well also for Portugal with the fluorescent headband in lane five. Sasaki of Japan falling back a bit. Now here comes Benham on the inside. Duarte still going well. It's our server leading, but now they'll straighten up. Benham the 1500 meters champion slightly in front it's Amatsova fighting back the 200 meters champion Duarte not out of it yet but what a double this would be son of Benema. here comes Amatsova can she hold on and Amatsova beats Benema on the line and the 200 meters champion has pipped the 1500 meters champion to win the 400 what a hard one double 56-58. A new lifetime best. Panama the silver. But what a magnificent race. And what respect between these two fantastic reigning world champions from London 2017. Superb work by Duarte to win the bronze for Portugal. She looked at a candidate maybe for better with 70 metres to go. But it's Amatsova put her heart and soul into that. It's her second gold of these games for Ukraine. The 400 and 1500 metres would be quite a double in itself. But it's Amatsova now champion over two and four. Well, down the back straight there with around 250 to go. She just took off. Did Amatsova. I thought she might have gone a bit too early. She really took off. You knew that over 1,500 metres that Ben Harmon's got a very good finish. Shorter distance, very tough race indeed to judge the 400 metres. You have to be on the money. And after thinking that she'd lost the race, 
had to Matova, then Ben Harmer just tied up in that last 20 metres and she couldn't hold on and by about half a metre the Ukrainian gets the win. Duarte falling away in third place there with the pink hairband on. Ben Harmer on the inside, you think she's got it? Well, she doesn't. Ukraine with gold, Morocco with silver and Portugal with bronze.